fish that can do that. Look at those teeth. Woo! Good job, good job. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, the big Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Hooked on OC. We're right here every Sunday morning, 7 a.m. We appreciate you watching every single week. I am really, really excited about today's trip, folks. It's our first ever surf fishing episode for Hooked on OC in the 16 years we've been doing the show. I've got some great guys behind me. They've been having some really awesome luck over the past weekend. They gave me a call and I'm taking them up on their offer to head down to Astigue Island and try some of these black drum, rockfish, and other stuff that's been being caught in the surf. Steve Swigert. Where's he at? Lee McCabe and Officer Mike <laughs> Dessert Snack Denerzak. <laughs> Coming up after the break, we are going surf fishing for our very first time. Stay tuned after the break. We'll see you in a second. Phew. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Firestorm has the area's largest selection of sunglasses to choose from. Brand names like Oakley, Maui Jim, Von Zipper, Electric, Ray-Ban, Costa, Smith, and Spy. Over 3,000 pairs of great brand name sunglasses. Nobody has this kind of selection anywhere. Firestorm has a great selection of watches featuring Nixon, G-Shock, Neff, and Freestyle. Over 32,000 square feet of awesome surfwear and equipment. Visit Firestorm Surf Shop today on the boardwalk at North Division Street. Sunset Marina is Ocean City's premier full-service marina resort. Sunset Marina is located just five minutes from the Ocean City Beach and Boardwalk. Sunset's charter fleet boasts the finest fleet of sport fishing boats in the Mid-Atlantic, all operated by Coast Guard licensed captains. One look at Sunset's amenities and you're hooked for good. Contact Sunset Marina today to book your fishing charter. Call 1-877-514-FISH. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right guys, so we're just getting set up here on Assateague Island. We're fishing with Mike, Officer Mike, the Zernak. What's up man? How many are you putting out, Mike? Mike's putting four rods out. He's getting all of his sand spikes set up, getting the rods in their places. Steve is in between he and Lee. Lee is down to the north, further up to the north. And Steve is gonna fish here in the middle. We're, we're gonna have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like 10 or 12 setups, right? That way we've got a much better chance covering what looks like about 75 or 80 yards worth of surf here. We're gonna throw them all out there and these fish have really been biting well over the past couple of weeks. Usually April, first part of May, is when the black drum really show up in good numbers. These guys have had a couple of epic trips over the past week or so. 10 fish on one trip, seven fish on another trip. Caught fish as big as 44 inches. You know, that's a 35, 40 pound black drum really doing well down here and we've got an absolutely beautiful day to do it man going to be upper 50s maybe low 60s today light winds there's some rain coming in later on in the day but we've got a really great start right now and these guys are getting all set up so we can have a really great chance of catching some black drum down here on Astig Island for our very first surf fishing episode I can't believe we've been doing this over 15 years this is the first time we've ever gone surf fishing in, in Ocean City but really really looking forward to it before we got here Lee was here trying to catch a fish early on and he actually caught us some fresh bait, not even fresh, live. 
So you guys buy sand fleas in the places in the tackle shops and stuff during the summer, late spring when they show up in good numbers and the guys come out here and dig them. Well, we're catching them right here off of Assateague Island and off of Ocean City, right? Really prevalent in our surf. That's him. Sand flea, mole crab, sand crab, whatever you want to call them. Basically everything that swims in the ocean will eat this bad boy because they so they are so readily available. Very prevalent out here. I'll show you a little bit about them. Black drum absolutely love these things. All right, there he is alive. You can see he's trying to crawl away. If I dropped him down in that little bit of wash in the surf, he would be gone like that. Bam, sitting in my hand. He can't dig through my hand, obviously, but if I put him in some place where he's comfortable, he's gonna be gone in a flash. And it's with this little digger right here. You can see his legs working. That little point will go down into the sand. He'll dig through the sand and tunnel himself down. We're gonna put a hook right through there, come out through the top of this hard shell, throw it out into that beautiful surf, and hopefully catch ourselves a couple of black drum. If you don't mind, tell me what we're using, because people like to know what we're using as far as setup goes, bait, and that sort of thing. So it looks like you got, is this a 12 footer? Yeah, so the rods we have, they're generally 12 foot rods. Um, some of them are like heavy, some of them are medium heavy. Okay. So, uh, but as far as rigs go, so general setup is a high low rig. Yep. So nothing too fancy Pretty about it. Pretty simple setup, yeah. Yeah, we got a snap uh, on the bottom for the sinker, some dropper loops. Uh, these are size uh, seven knot hooks. Okay. Um, we use like, I like to use uh, circle octopus hooks. Yep. Just so we have a little bit more of a gap to get the sand flues on or if you're using clams or crabs or whatever. Got it. The high low rigs, uh, the hooks are a little bit smaller um, on the fish finder rig, which we can talk about uh, that. Yeah, we'll show that in a minute. Typically has like a bigger hook on it. Okay. Um, and really it's a simple setup. I like to use fish bites um, or Sometimes I'll just use just sand crabs because that's how they are in yeah. nature. Yeah. That's kind of how I yeah. think of it. But um, really, we just put a little bit of fish bites on there for the scent. Yeah. Black drum are really, um, like, uh, they're attracted to the scent more. Yeah. I guess our eyesight's not so yeah, good. They're not a sight feeder like a flounder would be, right? Yeah. So it's all about the scent. Um, they're more like a tall tog. Tall tog, okay. tall tog, black drum, fish like that, they smell bait, right? They, they get attracted to a bait because of the smell. And they can smell things from real, real far away. Fish like flounder, stripers on occasion, they feed more on sight. Bluefish especially, they feed on sight. They see a bait go by, their eyesight's very good compared to the black drum and the fish like that. So when something goes by, it attracts them in their vision, boom, that's when they go and attack it. Whereas a black drum coming in, he's smelling things, trying to find it. When he eventually does, he gets close enough to see it, and that's when he decides to eat it. Yeah. So really it's pretty simple. We just grab a, a sand flea, yep. and I mean, just put it right through, right down the middle. And on the smaller hooks, I generally put on two. Yep. And then on the bigger hooks, I'll usually do three. Yep. And that, that's it. That's it, man. So it's a very simple rig. Put the clip on here on the bottom, I imagine, so you can change the sinker size out. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. so we're, we're going to start with four ounces. We'll see what happens. Okay, we're going to start with four ounces, see how we do with that. But this is a pyramid sinker. You guys have seen those before. Clip at the top right there, all right? That'll swivel around. And basically, it sits like this. So just that is sitting in the sand. It won't get caught in the sand too much. If you're using bank sinkers or something like that, it's going to lay in the sand. It might get hung up, right? You don't want them to feel any tension. This will sit just like that if it's sitting properly. You got these two hooks above it and hoping for a bite, man. We're that's praying. Awesome. Yeah, right. we're yeah that's praying. right. We did this on the way down here, so we'll do it again. <laughs> Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Top Dog Services is built on an essential response attitude and has been serving the entire East Coast since 1994. In these uncertain times, we understand our customers' need for an immediately safe environment. Top Dog is now specializing in electrostatic cleaning as well as full commercial janitorial services for clients that include the U.S. Pentagon. We have crews ready to efficiently and proactively address and clean confirmed COVID-19 areas to allow a safe return to the space at the earliest convenience. Give Top Dog Services a call to find out why our motto stands strong. Lean on experience, adapt to new ideas. At Park Place Jewelers, we believe your true love should be wearing the brightest diamond in the room. Why do seemingly identical diamonds have a 70% difference in price? Park Place Jewelers is introducing the Bright Crystal Diamond, which is scientifically proven to be in the world's top 10% of all the world's brightest natural diamonds. Come into Park Place Jewelers and find out why from virtual reality to third-party validation and a GIA grading report, we will provide more buyer education and instill confidence in our customers that the Bright Crystal Diamond they are buying is a world-class diamond. Improve your vision, improve your life. 
Call now to schedule your exam appointment or bring your prescription in today. And Optical Galleria is the creator of Hook Optics, the hottest new brand of polarized sunglasses made to handle the most demanding environments. This award-winning practice has three convenient locations, West Ocean City, Centerville, and Easton, on the web at eyesandart.net and hookoptics.com. Atlantic Tackle, we know fishing. Atlantic Tackle is the Mid-Atlantic's most complete tackle store, showcasing a huge selection of rods and reels, bait and tackle, fishing apparel, eyewear, and ocean-inspired home decor from industry leaders like Penn, Shimano, Baitmasters, Costa, Smith Optics, Pelagic, Hook, Olakai, Extra Tough, and Yeti. Stop by Atlantic Tackle on Sunset Avenue across from Sunset Grill in West Ocean City or visit us online at AtlanticTackle.com. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Thank you for joining us this and every Sunday morning at 7 o'clock right here on WMDT TV 47. I'm in West Ocean City at one of Kristen's favorite places in the entire world, the Park Place Jewelers at the Park Place Plaza, West Ocean City, and I'm with the Queen of Bling, Jill Ferrante. Thanks, Scott. You look lovely as ever. Thank you. Good Great to, to see, see you. you. It feels so good to be able to hug I people know. again. I love it's to a, see everybody and see yeah. faces and smiles. Places are opening up. You can go inside. Yeah. You still got to social distance and masks and stuff where people are putting those requirements and leaving them in place. but feels better you it know does. it's really kind of a relief absolutely and you've got something really cool happening this month we were talking before we started but 25 years in business 25th anniversary this month it's hard to congratulations. believe congratulations thank you so much awesome yeah. stuff we started with a very small store on the boardwalk yeah. at fourth street 25 years ago and we have grown into our dream location here at the Park Place yeah, Plaza. Um, you know, it's really hard to believe um, 25 years. You know? So you started when you were five, six I, years old? I did, yeah. <laughs> you know, I was just that little toddler running around. Yeah, um, I wasn't even around yet. So. Yeah, right. Um, but it's really just for us, it's about the community yeah. and giving back. And we're having a month long celebration. That's awesome. It um, it's, feels so good. Yeah, you know? it's really um, cool. Mother's Day is in May. You guys are having a special event on the 20th, I think you yeah, said? May yeah, May 20th, we that. are having um, an open house, basically. It's from five to nine. We are having some of our favorite new uh, vendors and designers come in to do okay. trunk shows. So they're bringing in hundreds and maybe thousands of items between the two of them that you don't normally see in our store. Some okay. of them are one of a kinds, um, but it's a special event that we're also using to give back to different organizations and charities. Gotcha. But that evening, May 20th, um, it is from five to nine at night. Yep. And one of the features is going to be the brand Fope, which is brand new collection to our store. It's all 18 karat gold. And the wonderful thing about it is they're flexible bracelets. Okay. So they stretch, so there's no clasp. So that means they're easy to put on, easy That's to take cool. off. They also have matching necklaces, earrings. So we're you very excited. You don't usually see gold products that have stretch to them. No, That's usually no. like clasp or something yeah, like that. Yeah, and diamonds. So wow. I mean, it's really fine jewelry. And so we're trying to, you know, really get everyone excited about our anniversary, but also yeah. about our new products. Yeah, that's a really great thing to do. And you, like you said, there's gonna be products here from both vendors yes. where it's boom, we don't have this in the store, but you're welcome to order it and bring it to the store. Absolutely, and idea. also you can buy it that night. They will have items that are ready to go. Um, so you can just grab something and take it home and remember the special occasions, like you said, Mother's Day yeah. or birthdays or anniversaries, or just the fact that it's been a year since lockdown and exactly. <laughs> we need something to make us feel yeah. better. There are people that are out celebrating vaccinations and stuff. So if, you, if, yeah. they, if you're doing that, this is a great place to get a gift. I think we should um, all celebrate being outside. Yeah, I, I do mean, too. That's wonderful I do to too. live life again. Yeah. We're filming this on Earth Day. So that's, I mean, what better day to film something yeah. like that and talk about how nice it is to be outside, enjoy the outdoors. It's what we do for a living. I mean, we're fishermen. Absolutely. I'm the luckiest guy in the world to be able to do what I love for a living and make money at it. So, yeah. you know, no, no, no uh, complaints from me yeah. ever. But like Jill said, Mother's Day, this is actually showing on Mother's Day. The first airing of this yes. episode will be on Mother's Day. So guys, you're running late waiting for things to happen, boom, get in here. 
watches, ladies' jewelry. Yep, everything. Want to drop that engagement on her if you haven't gotten it on Mother's Day. Full selection of wedding engagement rings, right? Yeah, anniversary presents. Anniversary you know, presents. we have something um, from Mother's Day for uh, Pandora clients, all the way up to beautiful watches, diamonds, gemstones. So we really have yeah. a little bit of something for everyone. Kristen's got a Michelle watch, and she absolutely loves it. I told That's you how nice that looked when yeah, we came I love here. That it's really, really nice. Absolutely. And don't forget, we also have a little bit. I mean, a lot of uh, fishing nautical guy, jewelry. You know, things. yeah, yeah a little fish hooks. <laughs> Four watches, Marlins. I think I yeah. have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. money clips. So. You name it, fishing related stuff, guys, they've got it here too. Yeah. What's the phone number, contact, and everything, Jim? Uh, so, phone number is 410 213 9220. And we are in West Ocean City, like Scott said, yeah. right on Route 50 in the Park Place Plaza, right across um, from the outlets, um, right next to Caraba. So, mm -hmm. we're very accessible. Yeah. You can see the uh, Tequila Mockingbird is right next door. The bank is right on this side of it. The Brinks truck was pulling here as we pulled up. I thought it was here for you guys, but it was like <laughs> for the I bank. Wish, yeah. I was like, come on, Todd, what? <laughs> congratulations on thank 25 you so years much. to you and Todd. We both uh, it's appreciate been a pleasure it. working with you guys the years yeah. we've been working with you, and congratulations. I hope you guys thank have you. a great month. And thank you to everyone who supported us over 25 years, and please come in on May 20th and let's have some fun. Guys, stop in and see them. We'll be right back with a little bit more Hooked on OC. See you in a second. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. We catch a lot of fish here at Hooked on OC, and my JPR custom rods are nothing but the best. Some of the finest inshore, offshore, casting, spinning, and trolling rods on the planet today. Custom rods, custom logos, all at unbeatable prices. Go to JPRrods.com. With over 130 years combined experience, Midshore Electronics offers a team of FCC licensed, factory trained, and CMET technicians that are ready for any marine electronics installation, modification, or repair. No project too small. Midshore Electronics provides the most innovative marine electronics solutions available and our work has been voted best on the bay for over 20 years. With locations in both Cambridge and Ocean City, you can depend on Midshore Electronics to give you the highest quality of sales, installation, and design services available. Visit our website, stop by, or call us today. Hey guys, what's up? We're here with Luke from Sandmarks Marketing. He's here to tell us all about this awesome guy he's got ready for you to pick up in town. Luke, what's up? Hey Scott, how you doing? Thanks. Luke Howard from Sandmarks Marketing here to introduce the premier edition of uh, Destination Ocean City in the Delaware Beach. Got a great golf guide in here. Of course, you got something for the fishermen. I do. I also have spa, salon, and attractions for the wife and family too. We're a comprehensive overview of the entire Delmarva area. Pick it up in your hotel room while you're in town. Look for the beach chair and you'll be there. Tipsy Tiki is a floating tiki bar, the only one in the Ocean City area that is Coast Guard certified for 12 passengers with a Maryland State liquor license. Great for bachelor, bachelorette parties, and birthdays, anniversaries. Enjoy a calm cruise in the backwaters behind Assateague Island in Ocean City. The cost is $70 per person, which includes a 90-minute cruise and full bar service. You can bring your own food or you can call Crab Alley for carryout. Check us out at Facebook or our website at tipsytiki.com. Call 443-606-0822. Our friendly crew is ready to welcome you aboard. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, you can't see it, but we're actually putting these out at different distances away from the beach. So Lee is up to our north. He's got a couple that are on this side of the first sandbar and one or two that are on the outside of the first sandbar. Steven's gonna do the same thing. And Mike up down here to the south He's got the same thing going on too. So you want to use a different rig and then find out where they are. Are they feeding on the inside of the sandbar? Or are they feeding on the outside of the sandbar? Steve was telling us on the way down here that they're finding that the bigger fish are hanging out on the inside of the second bar. The first bar you can see where they're breaking in close. The second bar is out there where the, where the waves actually start to curl up. So try and get on the inside of that second bar out there, find some of these bigger fish, and hopefully they're eating those two and three uh, sand, uh, sand flea hooks. I can't wait for this, man. They said they get excited. They guys have no idea. All right, so when you're doing this, and we've got this setup going here, yeah. we're just watching everything. Is it, you know, when I'm flounder fishing, I gotta feel a bite and anticipate it, maybe drop the line back and that sort of thing. Are you just waiting for this thing to bend over and you know he's on there, or do you try and 
hook him or what? Yeah, I mean, so what we do is we set the drag fairly loose. Okay. So um, especially like on that high low rig, if they pick it up, there's not a ton of tension. Gotcha. But really, you know, we want them to, to hook themselves at this point. Understood. Sometimes, you know, it's just a real little bite and you, you just kind of have to look at it and then we'll go over and pick up the rod and feel for it. Yeah. And then once we feel them on, you know, we'll, we'll tighten it yeah, down yeah, and, yeah. And, okay. and crank on them. Sometimes you just turn around. It's over. And the bends, the rod's <laughs> bent in half That's and the I'd line's like ripping see. out. So, you know, it, it, yeah. it goes both ways. Understood. But a lot of times it's just more visual. Um, and just trying to understand what the difference is between a bite and a wave. Understood. You know, as the waves yeah, are coming at, in, they're I'm looking wide. at this rod right now, and you can see it doing a little bit of this, but that's wave action. Yeah. That's wave it action. Is. And depending on where it's sitting, right, where the line hits the wave. Yeah, so the yeah. rods that I have that are a little more sensitive on the tips, I like to keep them in a little bit closer because it's easier to, to determine if it's a, a fish or a wave. Gotcha. What do they call heavers, or like the more stiff rods? Um, those are the ones that I'll just chuck way out because they, they won't move as much. Gotcha. So when you see them moving, a lot of times it's, it's, it's a, a fish. fish. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, Black Drum has a mouth. Hopefully we can show you one here in a little bit. Black Drum has a mouth that's turned down toward the bottom. They're a definite bottom feeder. They're shaped like a croaker, red drum, that spot, that sort of thing. Their mouth is on the bottom. So they're going around foraging like this. And like he said, when they come up on these sand fleas, a lot of times they'll just they'll mouth it like a catfish kind of would. Yep and you won't be able to tell what's going on until, boom, he gets hooked and says, ouch, and then takes off. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, amen. For that. Whoops, ah, yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> All right, so got, here's the second setup Steven mentioned a little bit ago. Piece of fish bites on there. Now, is that any secret? What type of fish bites is that? Uh, this one's a crab. Crab fish yeah. bites, okay. <laughs> and then there's, there's the larger hook on the fish finder rig. So fish finder means this. You have a swivel, you have another swivel where the, the line goes through, and then it moves like this. So basically the sinker sits on the bottom. If that fish picks that up, he can move without the sinker moving. See that? It'll run through the sinker eye like that so he doesn't feel any tension, doesn't get spooked by the bait, right? He won't get spooked by that sinker coming up off the bottom like you would on the other rig. You pick it up like this, the sinker moves, he might feel that little bit of weight and get spooked out. So that's a real, real nice trick for fishing for fish like this, flounder fishing. Fish finder rig's the way to go, and it's just as simple as putting the line through the swivel like that and putting a snap on the sinker like that. I will say, like, I have some that, like, you can buy the fish finder, like, sinkers. Yes. That have the plastic, plastic on there. plastic sleeve, right. Out here on the beach with all the sand and everything, like, I do use those. Yep. But I like to just use regular swivels because it's, it's a wider opening, so, like, sand and stuff won't get caught in there. Gotcha, and I yep. notice, like, the sinker can slide a little bit easier. Yep. So. And it's just as easy. Yeah, yeah. and it's cheap. <laughs> okay, sand fleas on a much larger hook. There you go. You guys have seen us do this if you watch us fishing on the jetty for sheep's head and tog and that sort of thing. It's just like this. You get right through that little digger I showed you before, put the point of the hook through that, pop it through the part, top part of the shell, slide him up. Same thing on this guy. Through the digger, top of the shell. And then three. Through the digger top of the shell that looks like that looks like Paul Revere smorgasbord right there brother <laughs> and it's before four o'clock so you get a discount yeah yeah <laughs> hooked on OC we'll be right back featuring the finest and largest fleet of charter boats in the mid-atlantic region the Ocean City Fishing Center has been the premier spot for offshore sports fishing for four decades whether it's a family outing a corporate event or just a day on the water with your friends all our charters are led by Coast Guard licensed captains and boast knowledgeable crews dedicated to helping you catch the big one. Call us today and book your charter. We accommodate groups of all sizes. The Ocean City Fishing Center. The locals know it's the best place to go. Hey everybody, looking for what's going on in and around Ocean City? Pick up the dispatch. 25,000 copies in over 200 locations all around Delmarva and the Fishing OC Fishing Report by yours truly with pictures from Dave Messick and some of the best captains in the biz. Pick it up. Racetrack Marine, the area's premier Tidewater center console and Sylvan pontoon boat dealer. In stock or custom order Tidewater starting at 18 feet and Sylvan pontoons up to 27 feet. Service, maintenance, and trailers. Find it all here at Racetrack Marine. We buy, broker, and sell pre-owned boats too. Deep discounts and the best stem to stern warranty available. Say goodbye to last year's boat repairs. Stop dreaming and start boating today. Racetrack Marine, the place that does it all. You know Miller Lite only has one more calorie, right? Ah, and more taste!
And now back for more Hooked on OC. So I didn't know he was going to throw it that far. <laughs> We're talking, at, he, he chucked that one out there probably 75 yards. I mean, that was a chuck. This goes to show you that you got to try these different levels because you never know where the fish might be feeding. A lot of times they're feeding in here real close to the beach where these sand fleas are getting washed up and they're rolling around uncontrollably. And sometimes they're out there on the other side of the sandbar eating small crabs and things like that that can get around a little bit better. So. We've got the whole gamut covered. Everything is set up now. Now we're just waiting for a bite. All right, you guys stay up here. You guys stay up here and watch. But we got a fish on here. That's great. Never know how big they might be either. So he gets a good feeling because he's caught a couple on how big it might be. But fight's on. <laughs> yeah, baby. Right here, give me one while you're fighting. <laughs> I was just saying, if they're out there, I'm feeling pretty confident. Literally, like literally saying that to me. Uh oh. Yep. When he gets, when there's a good wave, I'm gonna run back. Okay. He's still trying to go. Yeah, he's not done yet. He's, he's pointed the other way. I'm trying to turn him. There you go, there you go. Right here. Yeah! My foot is soaked! <laughs> yeah! Yes, sir! My foot is absolutely soaked right now. But that's it, we'll show you this in just a second. That's a that's a beautiful black drum. That's on the smaller side of things, man. Honestly, these guys have been catching them 40 inches and better. That thing's probably, gonna what? Get a roar. We're gonna measure him even, 25 inches, 30 inches maybe. He's gonna get a roar real quick. Yeah! <laughs> yes, sir! Check it out! Yeah, come on up here. Like we were telling you a little while ago, right? His mouth is turned down here. See that mouth? It's always turned down toward the bottom. So they're sucking these baits up off the bottom. There's no teeth in there, right? No danger of anything ha happening to my fingers or anything. But he feeds on the bottom all the time. So he's down there with those sand fleas, grabs a hold of one. Steve saw the knock, 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 got down there, set the hook on him. And that is a beautiful fish, man. That's good. Eating. That is that's awesome, good. That's dude. Cool, right? Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Here, lay it down <laughs> We'll get him back in the water, then. Yeah. We're gonna release this fish, so we're gonna get a quick measurement on him. We'll get a weight estimate, right? We don't have a scale with us, but and then we're gonna release him back to the ocean. He's like right on 30. 30 inch black drum. Yeah! <laughs> oh, you got that nice. Well, see 15? 15? 15 pounds, man. 30 inches, 15 pounds. That's our first ever surf fish for Hooked on OC. Yeah, baby. And it's a beauty, bro. <laughs> I, I'm my... <laughs> yeah, here we go. We're going to release them. Scales are so big. I'm going to get... You're going to get wet. That's all right. My foot is soaked, bro. Awesome stuff, man. 30 inch fish. 
15 pounds, first ever surf fish for here at Hooked on OC. That's pretty awesome. Stay tuned after the break. Hopefully we're gonna bring you another one. I'm gonna go dry my feet out. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. One of the shore's best kept secrets is a secret no more. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the only Robert Trent Jones Sr. Championship Golf Course on the Eastern Shore. Ocean Pines is set amongst natural wetlands and scenic woodlands, making it a must play. Experience golf as it was meant to be played. Call 410-641-6057 or visit us online at oceanpinesgolf.org to book your tee time today. Pure lure, baby, pure lure. Are you looking for the best crabs on this side of the Chesapeake Bay? Then head on over to Crabs to Go on the corner of Route 50 and 589. For over 20 years, Crabs to Go has been bringing you the fattest, tastiest crabs on the eastern shore available by the bushel or by the dozen. We also offer a full menu including shrimp, clams, oysters, scallops, lobster tails, crab meat, and soft crabs. Call ahead for fast, hot carryout. Or stop by for our homemade crab cakes, soups, and salads. This is where the locals come. Crabs to Go, Routes 50 and 589, West Ocean City. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, so, so we got a small bite, probably something like a skate. Kingfish aren't even really here yet. I heard of one up in Delaware, but sure enough, it's a skate. But nonetheless, you're gonna catch these while you're down surf, surf fishing Astique, surf fishing Ocean City. There's tons and tons of skates around. If you're fishing the back bays for flounder, you catch them a lot. So let's show you how to take them off the hook. All right, there he is. That's a skate. You see him all the time. You can see his mouth is turned down there. Watch this. This bad boy will shoot his, his mouth out a pretty good distance. If you grab his lips, you can see how they come out. They feed kind of like a black drum does. Those lips come out, and they can grab baits like that from a little distance away. Here's a little trick I know. If you grab them by the nose and flip them upside down, a lot of times they'll cool out a little bit. I like to use a rag to do this, but... See that mouth coming out but just like that you flip him upside down you see he doesn't freak out as much he gets the body weight against himself and he's not going to flip out but be real real careful back in the back there's spines all the way down that backbone and they can get you pretty good if it gets infected you can get get some real problems there uh, if he happens to nick you but nasty ugly fish some people will keep them and eat them but not us my first surf black drum. Sorry the fight wasn't more, but guess what? That's a small fish. <laughs> These guys have been catching them out here three times this size, right? That's a nice fish, man. This is I just told these guys, we're, we're gonna cooler this fish, right? We're gonna go ahead and kill him. It's 16 inches is the minimum size. You're allowed one uh, per person per day. And you can see how light he is compared to a lot of the fish we catch in the bay. 
the ones we catch in the bay will almost start off this color and have darker stripes. This guy's more of a silver color with the like the dark gray stripes. That's a beautiful fish, man. Yeah, and once again, you see that mouth turned down like that. Not a real, not a real good sight feeder. They they, they feed by scent, sniffing things in here, and they're along the bottom. I'll show you just like this, picking things up. I'll grab them like that and scoot around the bottom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And this dude ate the wrong sand flea. <laughs> Mike, dessert snack, dessert neck, let me take the rod from him and catch my first ever surf black drum. That's an awesome fish, man. i tell you what we'll do. We'll show you guys how to clean him in just a little bit. Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! All right, so there he is, man. Black drum. Beautiful fish. Mike's been nice enough to let us put him in the cooler there. We'll get some really, really nice fillets off of these bad boys, right? Start at the back of the head here, go down the side toward the rib cage. All of this down here is gonna be meat, and black drum's very, very good. And the smaller, the better. Just like most fish, the bigger they get, sometimes they can get a little gamey. Um, this one is not gonna be gamey at all. This is gonna be a really awesome eating fish. Yeah! <laughs> This might be one of the smallest stripers I've ever seen in my life, much less caught. That is a rockfish, folks. Like I said, one of the smallest I've ever seen. That's about 12 inches, maybe 13. You can see that it was bouncing the rod up and down, bouncing the rod pretty crazy, right? That's just because he was trying to get away. Very aggressive fish. Kind of built like a black drum, right? Downturn mouth, feeds on the bottom. Definitely eats sand fleas, crabs, and that sort of thing. There's been a bunch of these in the surf. <laughs> On the way down here, we even saw some look like they were breaking water a little bit bigger than this, but legal size on rockfish this year, tough one. 28 inches is the minimum size, 35 inches is the maximum size. You're allowed one fish per person. That's it. So we need to triple this guy's length and then add on another fish. <laughs> we might be the legal limit, but there he is. Maryland State Fish right here on Assateague Island. Tons of fun, man, having a blast down here. That just adds to it. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. It's beyond the gun. It's the brain before the bullet. It's not you doing a drill, it's you mastering a skill that could save your life. Fortress Training trains both beginners and advanced shooters on the skill of carrying a firearm and is unlike any other training. Fortress Training has helped over 2,000 people successfully obtain a Maryland wear and carry permit. If you qualify, we can help. Public, private, and corporate events for training are also available. Train at the next level. Train with Fortress Training. Just what exactly does Okaya mean? Okaya means strength. Okaya means dependability. Okaya means value. Okaya means fishing. Check out the full line of Okaya rods, reels, and accessories at okaya.com and find out for yourself why thousands of customers around the world rely on Okaya fishing equipment because Okaya means business.
And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Hooked on OC here on WMDT TV 47 every Sunday morning, 7 o'clock. We're at the end of the show right now, folks, so I am in Atlantic Tackle for the Angler's Advantage. Recently, we've been getting a bunch of questions, emails, phone calls, you name it, about cast nets, right? Different sizes, different weights, the different options that you've got, everything between 3.5 and, and 10 foot, and they've got them all here at Atlantic Tackle. So. If you're a newbie to the, the sport of cast netting and you want to catch some bait, I really recommend going with something like this. Look, it even says on the box, you will love it. This is the buddy net. So if you don't know what you're doing, you're new to cast net and trying to catch bait, kids, this is great for you guys. Instructions on the back of the box. It's got a ring built right into it, so it's almost dummy proof. It's going to take a little bit of skill with getting the thing untangled at first, but once you do these instructions, you're really going to figure out how to throw that cast net effectively, and then you can go from that and graduate into some larger sizes. But if you don't know how to throw one, this is the way to start off. Um, don't be you know, embarrassed because there's a kid on the front of it wearing a life jacket. This is for a novice, kid, regardless. If you don't know how to throw the cast net, start with something like this. A couple of different baits that we're going to find in our back bays are these bad boys. Get this question a lot. Bunker, or LY you hear them referred to as, and mullet. These are my two favorites for flounder fishing. And the cast nets do it, catch them all. Got to be particular though on what kind of cast net you're going to use to catch these. The question I get most often is where do you catch these different fish? So we're right on the commercial harbor here. Usually late June, sometime early July, bunker will start to swirl in here all the way down to the ramp and in marshes and creeks and stuff around Ocean City. That's the best place to catch bunker and mullet. If you see mullet, they're going to be up on the surface, usually curving a straight line right down the, the marsh uh, lines. Bunker are going to be spinning. They're going to be in a circular rotation like this. You might see some little flicks up on the surface. That's how you're going to notice the difference between bunker and mullet. Cast netting, you're going to want to go with a quarter inch or three inch mesh. If you don't know what you're doing or you're a novice, start with something in the four to five foot range. They also have them in six, seven, eight, and ten foot. So you guys that are going off the beach to try and catch these big bunkers, things like that going offshore, maybe chunking tunas, shark fishing, that sort of thing. And if you know what you're doing, that's the way to go. Big 10 footer, a couple things you're going to want to pay attention to. The mesh size, obviously the size of the net, and then the weights on that net. You're going to see on the top here, those three things. This particular net is a six, a six footer, three eighths mesh, monofilament material. It's got one pound of weight for every linear foot, all right? So that's the different sizes that you wanna use. Let me show you one. This is how it's gonna come. A Couple different options. You got the bag in the box. This is never going back in this box. So throw this away. If you can get it back in there, good on you. But this is how you're gonna find it packaged, all right? And I'll show you the difference between a six footer and what you might think it is. So you can get your net all unraveled. There's the neck of the net and as you can see, a six foot net is six feet tall. So this opens up to 12 feet, 12 foot radius. This is the way to go. Once you get this thing all set up, we're not gonna show you how to throw it, but we'll show you how to set it up. Arms lengths, get it all the way down to the neck, the eye of the net, grab it halfway down, and then you're gonna start your sinker stuff. Once you're done throwing your net, you're gonna have some really awesome bait. Atlantic Tackle has options for storing your bait, like this Bait Buddy by Fraybill. Comes with an aerator and everything in it. Here's my recommendation for once you get your cast net. Five gallon bucket, everything goes in it. You take it off, just leave it just like this. Because like I said, the difference between it going in here and going in here is drastic. Atlantic Tackle right here on the Commercial Harbor, right across the street from Sunset Grill and Sunset Marina. We'll see you here. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Sunset Provisions is Delmarva's largest marine supply retailer, stocking an unmatched selection of pumps, paints, hoses, cosmetic care products, and marine hardware. Featuring the absolute best brands in the industry. Combine this unbelievable in-stock selection of top name brands with super competitive pricing and a seasoned staff that can help you navigate your project. Make Sunset Provisions Delmarva's go-to marine supply store. So stop by or call today and see for yourself what makes Sunset Provisions the area's best marine supply store. Sunset Provisions is located in West Ocean City at Sunset Marina. At Spencer Yachts, your dreams can become a reality in a sport fishing yacht unequaled in style, performance, and value. 
Spencer Yachts has taken the Carolina style of boat building and transformed it into a world-class, high-performance sport fishing yacht. Spencer Yachts Brokerage is Spencer Yachts in-house trusted yacht broker with extensive market knowledge. New to Spencer Yachts Brokerage is the beautiful 77-foot Jarrett Bay Boatworks sport fish, Mama Who. Check out Mama Who and all that Spencer Yachts Brokerage has to offer at SpencerYachtsInc.com. Aqua Traction Custom Design Marine Flooring Products have exceptional traction wet or dry, making your boat safer, cleaner, and more comfortable. Aqua Traction Flooring is durable, stain resistant, and backed with 3M adhesive specifically designed to withstand the harshest marine environments. With 23 nationwide reps, Aqua Traction has an unmatched three year warranty, provides the fastest turnaround time, and has unparalleled customer service. Check out AquaTraction.com to find out why I've got it in my boat and how it's charter proven all around the country. PYY Marine is the Mid-Atlantic's choice for Yellowfin, Cape Horn, and Solus boats and is an authorized factory trained sales and service center for Yamaha, Mercury, and Suzuki engines. PYY Marina in Pasadena, Maryland offers affordable slips and the gated facility offers 24-hour surveillance for worry-free storage. Whether it's education, service, slips, sales, or storage, our goal is to make boating easy and fun. Give our experienced crew a call and let our customer service speak for itself. Why PYY Marine? Why not? And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right guys, so because I've got the resources right here on the beach, I got more water than you could ask for for a little rinsing and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to clean this fish so we don't have to mess with going to a cleaning station and all that kind of good stuff. So Mike has uh, been nice enough to let me use his cooler, the IB Fishing Cooler. Check him out on Instagram, i.b.fishing. Mike. Dessert snack, dessert neck. So this fish is about 22 inches long, man. It's perfect eating size, right? You don't, you definitely don't want to be eating those big jumbo 60 and 70 pounders. You can, they're still okay. But this is absolutely delicious. This is the way to go. So they're very scaly. This is almost like plated armor. It's not quite like, um, you know, it's not quite like as hard as sheep's head skin, but it's close. They're very, very scaly. So what I like to do is I like to take the point of the knife and find a place to insert it where you can get in and then start your motion down your backbone and that sort of thing. You can also take the blade and scrape a couple of those scales out of the way and then stick the knife in and that'll get you started, right? And once you get started, he's still kicking. You can kind of just inch the blade down. It's much easier to get it through those scales as it's running behind them. What I've got here is I've got my finger down in his gill plate underneath there so you can see he's flipping around and it's really not moving that much. Okay? Down the side along the backbone. This dude is talking fresh fish, buddy. Fresh fish. And you can see how tough those scales are. And then once I get down toward the anal vent, I'm going to find his backbone. I'm going to go all the way through. Come on, pal. <laughs> He's like, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I'm going to go all the way through. Yeah. Ah. And then I'm going to take it all the way off. All right. Now there's tail. Then I'm going to find my way in back through the backbone here and inch my way back and forth, being very, very careful the whole time not to cut myself. And then I can start my incision at the top and go down toward his rib cage. That is not my blood. Okay, there we go. It's making it a little bit tough being so lively, but we'll get it done. Now I can feel his rib cage. There's my fillet, so you can see what the fillet is going to be. And now I can start to inch this stuff off.
Now you can see here, this is his rib cage, all of his internal organs, his vital organs are down here in the belly. None of that's any good. The meat's literally less than an eighth of an inch thick, so I don't need that. Most of the good meat's coming from the tail and the top part of the body here. So I'm just gonna cut that off. We'll scoot him to the side here. Give the meat a quick rinse. And then I'm gonna pull this skin off. Pull the skin off. You hold the back end by the tail. Angle the knife about 45 degrees. And as tough as his skin is, I shouldn't be getting through it. And once I get a good hold of it, I kind of keep the knife in the same place. And I'll just work the fillet back toward myself, pulling on the skin until it's all off. And then there you go. That's one beautiful piece of meat, man. Black drum at this size is absolutely delicious. You can cut this into strips like a one inch thick strip, fry it, make it into fish tacos. You can maybe cut it in half this way, fry it in panko and make sandwiches out of it. That's usually what I like to do. Or you can put the whole thing in the oven with butter, lemon, Italian seasoning, that sort of thing, bake it in aluminum foil. Any of those ways, a fish this size is gonna come out absolutely delicious. You're really gonna enjoy it. Having a blast down here on Astatigue Island. Now I got some real good eats for my family and probably give a little bit away to my father-in-law because he loves it so much. Guys, thanks a bunch, man. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. How much protection from the beach would you need to match the Arctic Air Coastal Series air conditioner? Still not enough. Arctic Air Coastal Series, built for the beach. Top Dog Services is built on an essential response attitude and has been serving the entire East Coast since 1994. In these uncertain times, we understand our customers' need for an immediately safe environment. Top Dog is now specializing in electrostatic cleaning as well as full commercial janitorial services for clients that include the U.S. Pentagon. We have crews ready to efficiently and proactively address and clean confirmed COVID-19 areas to allow a safe return to the space at the earliest convenience. Give Top Dog Services a call to find out why our motto stands strong. Lean on experience, adapt to new ideas. Red Sun Custom Apparel opened for business in Ocean City, Maryland with the mission of providing total customer satisfaction. Our philosophy is simple. Offer a wide selection of leading products at competitive prices and provide high quality customer service seven days a week. Our customers place orders with confidence knowing they will be completed on time and accurate according to the high standards Red Sun Custom has quickly become known for. Call us today for all of your promotional needs. You don't buy an ordinary chair for the beach, so why would you buy an ordinary air conditioner for the beach? Arctic Air Coastal Series, built for the beach. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Yeah, let's thank you. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> thank man. you. Thank you. It's been great. Thank you very much, man. Awesome day. What an awesome time, guys. We, it was our very first very first surf fishing episode here at Hooked on OC. We've had several people ask us over the years, but it just didn't quite work out where we could go when the weather cooperated, when the fish were in the area, when I was off, when Dave was available. Um, Dave wasn't even available today. Jake, thank you very much. Glad you feel better after this morning's trip down here. But Jake helped us out today on the camera, and we really appreciate it. We had an absolutely awesome trip, man. One real good uh, black drum, a black drum that I'm taking home for dinner, small rockfish, a couple skates. All said and done, an awesome trip. I was telling these guys earlier today, 
even if you just come down here and spend the day with your family and don't do any fishing, it's an awesome day, right? Yeah, Aston sure. Teague Island is one of those unique places where you can come down here, spend some time, have a great time, enjoy nature, enjoy everything that the island has to offer. And we even capitalized on more than that by going fishing and catching some fish today. Thanks a bunch, dude. Yeah, this you is awesome. You guys have had some pretty epic trips over the past week or so where you caught 10 one day, seven another day, some big fish like 44, 46 inches. So yeah. we caught a couple smaller ones today, but that one nice one was 30 inches. Uh, how long will this last and what time of the year are you usually expect? So, I mean, we were just talking about this typically you know it'll last from about mid-april to about mid-may yeah a lot of times like around mid-may is when the big bluefish will start rolling in yeah, yeah. and once those gators start coming in it seems like the black drum get out of here you know what i would if i was getting ready <laughs> yeah. to eat my phone yeah. like that i'd take off too then the carnage begins yeah so. then it all begins and then hopefully sometimes we start seeing those fish up toward the inlet but he's right the bigger black drums start heading up north toward delaware bay you can catch them all summer long in the delaware bay even really big really really big ones in that 60, 70, 80 pound range, they catch them up in Delaware Bay sometimes. Uh, but there's a real real fishery down here, March through April, first part of May. Alan Sklar, our buddy Alan Sklar, he is always catching the first black drum of the season. I think he's down here starting as soon as he sees a good water temperature, sometime mid-March probably. Yeah. Um, he's usually the first guy to catch one. And then from there on out, once we get word out, these guys are down here right away after that. And they're having a great season so far, you can see. Today I call it a little slow. I mean, honestly, yeah. as far as yeah. things were concerned, as far as you guys have been doing, it's a little slow. But for me, spectacular, man. Yeah. I've never caught a black drum in this surf before, so that was absolutely awesome. And that size is a great eating fish. So you guys can clean them up just like we showed you back there. Um, and it's a really, really great protein and awesome fish to eat, especially that size. Um, and next up, I think we're probably going flounder fishing up here in Ocean City. We're going tog fishing with Captain Chase Eberly. You guys have anything to say to the crew? Anything to say to the OCPD crew, Mike? <laughs> no. no. Yeah, guys, hey, look, if you're down here or coming down here in June, give them a break, man. Give them a break. We definitely support the Ocean City Police Department. You can see the back of the blue we've got representing. These guys all have one. Got the long sleeve available at the fishingoc.com website. Make sure you like us on Instagram, all right? Make Like us on Facebook. It's Hooked on OC all over the place. HookedOnOC.com for the Hooked on OC apparel. FishingOC.com for the fishing report where you'll see these guys. All of our resources on fishing in the area. We appreciate you watching the show every single week. Guys, thanks yeah, again. Awesome day. Lot Much appreciated, man. Thank you. Great time with nice some great people. Great time with some great people and actually caught a couple of fish. See you next time, folks. Thanks for watching.